Victoria, thank you. Well, with community-wide spread of COVID-19 high in our area, many kids at home sick with the virus, leaving parents then looking really for the best way to care for them. Join us right now with more. Dr. Nicole Lopez from Children's Hospital, North Knoxville Pediatrics. Great to have you here, first of all. Um, what do you do? I mean, okay, so your child is homesick, quarantined at home. Um, as a parent, how do I care for my child in these circumstances? So you said the first most important thing, which is to stay quarantined. Yeah. Um, guidelines are ever changing, so it's best to be in touch with your doctor about what the best thing to do is. Mm -hmm. Not every child can mask, so most sure. of those under two can't stay masked, so they have to stay home for longer. Um, the basics are to take care of symptoms. You want to help them with any aches and pains. You can use over-the-counter um, analgesics like Tylenol or ibuprofen. That will treat pain, that will treat fever. You can do things to care for their sore throat, um, hot or cold liquids, depending on what they prefer. Push fluids, push fluids, lots of rest, lots of sleep. Uh, and call if there's anything that develops that's concerning. And, and I was going to say that's really following up to the next question is, is then things do start to develop. At what point then do you say I need to call my doctor or I need to bring them to you? So a couple things that we look for. The biggest is work of breathing. So sure. if we're working hard to breathe, breathing fast and hard, not able to catch a good breath, older kids will be able to tell you that. Younger kids, you'll just see how hard they're working. Sure. They need to be seen. Other things that you can see are chest pain or pressure. That would be more in your older children, your teenagers not waking up like you're supposed to, confusion that's new, um, not sleeping more is normal, but not waking up like you're supposed to after a nap or after nighttime sleep would be unusual. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, and and in, in the meantime, maybe right now someone watching, well, my kids right now appear to be okay, but obviously still a lot of precautions we can take to make sure they stay that way. Yes, yeah. number one is getting vaccinated. So mm -hmm. if your child is old enough to be vaccinated, talk to your doctor about the benefits of being vaccinated. That is the most protective, even during this current um, uh, yeah, this, this wave, this variant. Yes, this, yes, 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 thank you. This current <laughs> wave, it's it's not the best, but it's it, those kids are not getting as sick as the ones that are unvaccinated. Sure. Other things you can do are mask up when you're outside, especially indoor places, if outside of your home, mm -hmm. wear a mask. If you have someone sick in your home and you can't separate, have them separated the best that you can in another room. Have them wear a mask when they're around the house to just sort of keep keep the germ level low and then wash, wash, wash your hands. Yeah, can't do that enough. Not enough. Doctor, thank you. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to kind of sit back a little bit, but I know it's been been busy. It so. has. That'd be great. Yeah, well, thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank appreciate you. it. If you have a question about your child's health that you'd like answered, email Lori Tucker at ltucker at wat.com and then tune into Channel 6 every Thursday at 4 o'clock to see if we answer your question on the air.